I am standing here with the recently assigned principal of the Allen School here in St. Andrew, Reverend Scott. Reverend Scott, what is your assessment of today's semi-final event 2023? I think it has been a wonderful event. Um, the students have come out in the numbers, they are participating well. Uh, the students are cheering on their colleagues. Uh, we are having a very relaxed but productive atmosphere and, and this is all part of our ethos here at the Island School. I'm really enjoying it. I'm very happy with the behavior of the students and how they've conducted themselves and the teachers and how they have really coordinated and kept things together. So a wonderful time being had at this time. I noticed that we are at a venue that we are not usually at at this particular event. What factors give rise to us being here at the Isolation Cavaliers uh, cricket ground? Well, uh, we were getting ready to use our field, but there was an unfortunate incident um, on our field. So we had to find an alternative. And those who know me since I've come, I'm a person of solutions. I don't just throw my hands up in the air and argue and um, point blame. It's about finding a solution. So I got together with the physical education unit and uh, the house masters. And we came up with this decision that we would come to the nearby ground of isolation uh, cricket club they were very willing to grant us the use of it at no cost um, and we also thank you Williams um, Metals Limited for giving us the tents that are here and Elko for the bathrooms uh, we are very happy that they are here with us today so that's why we are here in the opener again some good fresh air in St. Andrew. And it's a beautifully sunny day. The weather has been kind to us today. So we're happy for that. Are you representing our particular house? Which house are you representing, <laughs> if any? Your comments. I am representing all houses. I'm wearing white. And those who are in science would know that white includes all of the colors of the spectrum. And therefore, I'm representing all of the houses supporting every house here today every house very good now today is tuesday the 31st day of january 2023 it is our semi-final event when is the actual finals for the 2023 inter house athletic championships well it is on the 22nd of february at the usain bolt complex we're going to be unique in our finals in that we're coming together with our sister school college and parry um, to have a combined event because as usual everybody you now wants to use usain bolt because there are very few other um, grounds on which you can have your sports and we thought it would be fitting for us to come together as two schools in the north and to pool our resources together to have that combined um, sports. Indeed, it's a unique thing and I think we are blazing the trail and maybe others will be following us in, in this matter of coming together and having kind of like a zone activity and, and friendly rivalry um, amongst the schools that are, are you know, neighbors and we will continue to build that community between our two schools. Sounds exciting and my final question to you, what is, if any, your call to action to parents, members of our alumni community, and certainly our students? This has been three years since we've had an event of this nature because of the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. What is your call to action? Come out and support. Come out and be a part of it. Come out and give of your service to it. The alumni come out on the 22nd and be a part of what's happening. Give us that support. If you can't come, you can give us some tangible support. We're trying to get our gear for our team. We want us to be best on parade. We want our team really to look well and, and feel really good about themselves. So whatever support you can give us, whether in kind or in coin, um, uh, we will receive it. So just come out and give us all the support that you can give. And then should persons want to support tangibly, whether it be financial support or supportive gifts, how can they get in contact with you and certainly the school to make that arrangement? Well, we officially we call the school 3678180. Mrs. Innes, the secretary, uh, will engage with you. You can give us that call so that uh, we can ensure that we're getting with you. I want to give you my number because, um, you know, you don't really get through to me. I'm so busy, there are times I don't even know what the phone is ringing, so I don't want to be frustrated. But if you call the school number 3678180, you definitely will get through and we will engage with you on how you can give that support. 
thank you Reverend Scott for engaging us today and thank you for your leadership thus far <laughs> we you, trust Lord, that the 22nd Lord. of February will be an exciting time for all of us Indeed, within I'm the community the principles race where only principles can, uh, can participate <laughs> <laughs> we will certainly be looking forward to that thank you for your words Reverend number Scott. one for heat number one we have a share Wilkinson of Reed House Lane number two, Joy Marie Williams, Allen House. Lane number three, Alina Paris, Haynes House. Lane number four, Adassa Tixi, Haynes House. Lane number five, Zania Holder, Allen House. Lane number six, Kishana Herbert, Reed House. Lane number seven, Zania Grand Boyce, Cumberbatch House. And in lane number eight, Leah George of Reed House. Do we have a white flag at the finish? Any flag at the finish? White flag at the finish. Over to you, Mrs. Starter.